This is one of the most legendary park flyers of all time. It's gone down in the history books as one of the airplanes you can just stroll into a hobby shop or better yet, buy online using our link to help support our channel. And it has taught thousands upon tens of thousands of people, especially kids, to fly in their front yard, backyard, or down at the local park. But do not be deceived because this is not just the original Duet. This is the Duet S2. It's back and better than ever with a vengeance because now it is packed with technology. Not only is this thing a great stable trainer flyer, but it has safe technology in this now, which is fantastic. It just makes it easier and better for beginners learning to fly especially on a budget. So in this video, we are going to put my money where my mouth is, and I'm gonna let my wife, which actually Hello. does know how to fly planes, fly this for you all. We'll let her maiden it, see how things go, and then toward the end of the video, I, a more intermediate pilot, some have called me a skilled pilot, I don't think I am, I think maybe intermediate, will put my hands on the controls to see what I think as well. So this is gonna be a fun maiden on a calm, beautiful fall day. Without further ado, let's fly it and see how it does. Taking off. So you are currently in safe mode, yes? I am in safe mode, yes. All right, let's back off on the throttle. Yeah, you don't really need to cook the throttle, throttle excuse me, on a little trainer plane like this. This is a very casual little flyer. That's what I like to call like a Sunday flyer. So Just... there's a couple things I really like about the Duet and I have for years. First is the landing gear are super forgiving. They're just, they're gonna bounce and it's just gonna be easy to get your plane down. You're not gonna have to worry about it a lot. Number two, I like that there's a dihedral in the wing. It helps keep it extra stable even with safe. Now, the introduction of safe on the Duet is pretty awesome. I'm very happy about that. It's gonna keep you even more level than what the original one was able to. You also have two motors, so it helps it fight through some wind, but it's a very, very lightweight airplane. It's under 250 grams, which is important for some of our viewers, not necessarily everybody, but some people do need to know that, and that's nice. So I know we have a huge space to fly in, but you don't need a big space. So you could fly this at a baseball field, at a park. Front yard, backyard. Front yard, backyard. If you have a decent little yard. And also, uh, just to give it more agility and controllability, because it has two motors, it also has differential thrust mixed in already. So when you're turning, Abby, yeah, one I motor is spinning faster than the other. I can hear it changing. Me too. That's pretty cool. It's a good way to get maybe an introduction into having an airplane with two motors. So what this plane is not is a sporty flyer or a stunt flyer. If you're wanting to learn how to fly and learn what orientation is, this is a good plane to learn orientation on. And as Abby said, it's very forgiving because it's lightweight, because it flies slow, because of those bouncy rubber landing gear, rubber-esque, I should say. You see that? She oh, can just, that's okay. That's okay. that's okay, that's <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, you can very easily have some crashes and they be forgiving. They also have spare part availability, which is important. You snap a prop or something, which will be hard to do on this airplane. You can pick up spares through our link in the description box. There we go. <laughs> very fun you little. guys are pretty funny. <laughs> it's a fun little plane. Now, for those of you that are saying, well, it's too restricted. It has safe now. You'll never learn how to fly like the real pilots know how to fly without safe. You can actually click the right stick one time and it'll turn safe off. So if you would like to advance yeah, your... Off. And Abby's going to push it. <laughs> <laughs> so now she can bank a lot steeper I see that. <laughs> and you can dive and climb a lot faster too that. and that's okay you know we're oh she tried for a loop no. no i was just trying to see what it can do okay no i forgot everything i've ever known about flying <laughs> that's okay abby does fly in safe uh i would say 90 percent of the time that she flies planes but to me, there's nothing wrong with that because Sorry. it still gets you out and in the air, and that's better than not. 
Well, nice, Abby, that was like a little corkscrew loop. And she's back in safe to save the plane. <laughs> I was headed toward the ground a little quickly. Yeah, that's okay, good save. So we got a loop. I probably cannot pull off a roll because of the wing dice. No, roll. there's no way. If anybody can, Nate could. So I'm gonna land it, and I'm gonna pass the controls off okay. to Nate. Okay, see what I can do with it. So you can see more of a progression of what you could do with this. We'll see. This plane has Woo! its limitations, but well, that was a nice smooth Thank landing, Abby. You. For this little guy, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> Pressure's on. Oh, he's showing off with the hand launch. So if you don't have a good surface, if you're flying off of grass, there's a great example of the hand launch. That was really easy. Oh, and now he's showing off. Don't do that at home. What are you doing? You're throttling while holding it. <laughs> Curious. Oh, we're taking the landing gear off. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And I'm not throttling. That's the uh, safe. Safe? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here you go. No landing gear. Hand takeoff. Oh, like nothing. I feel like you could almost not even chuck that and I it would go. Like this without the landing gear, I think it looks really cool because it it's like it has cool. retracts. Yeah. Now the landing gear are there for defense. You know, they're, they're protecting your props and your motors. I recommend all beginners fly with those landing gear on, but since we're trying to see what progression this airplane can hold, I think that's great. Taking the landing gear off is gonna reduce drag and weight. So now we've got ourselves a soaring glider. This like is it. awesome. I mean, I can zero throttle right here and just, just steering it. And we have no wind and no thermals really helping us stay in the air, but we could get really long flight times on this by taking off that drag and weight. And you're, you'd be surprised how much of a difference landing gear can make when you're flying your airplanes. We might get an extra 10 minutes out of this just easing on the throttle like I am right now. This is about 40% throttle and I am just cruising around so delicately and smoothly. And a lot of guys like to fly this way. Sure, some of us are speed demons and we love to crank that throttle and see how fast it goes and how high we can climb and snap rolls and loops and crazy stuff. Uh, but this is fun too. So we're climbing it up and we're going to turn off our leveling, which is just clicking that. And let's just see if we can pull off a nice clean loop. There we go, that's pretty nice. We'll just double loop it almost. <laughs> also like, because we haven't really seen the bottom of the wing until just now, because we're flying a bit higher. Look at the bottom of the wing. We have those black stripes on one side. You see that right there? Yes. That is great for orientation. We know that's the left wing. And when we're flying around and we maybe are high in the sky and can't quite see the airplane, that's gonna let us know which side of the plane we're looking at. Markings like that are awesome. All right, we had just a little bit of a distraction there, but as I was saying, I love those markings for orientation. It's a really good inclusion on this airplane. I'm out of safe now, right? So I'm, let's see if we can just kind of go a little bit wild with it. Let's climb higher. And I do have a bigger battery in this airplane than the one it comes with, so I'll show you guys that. There we go. We can almost nice. spin that down. Ooh, sorry. Nice. Sorry, terrible filming. Let's see filming. if we can do maybe inverted, possibly. No way. Well, we'll see. No. Oh yeah, I got it upside down. <laughs> it was almost upside down. I think that you was just like fell down. upside down. Yeah. Let's be honest. You <laughs> fell upside down. That's okay. <laughs> just trying to see what we can get away with on this little airplane. You trying there, to roll it? Inverted. Aren't you? you see that? I'm inverted, but I'm going uh, fast. So it Come can fly in. inverted, but for only a few seconds. So, a uh, tip here, if you are going to crash, cut the throttle before it hits the ground. It will save your motors and your props. So make sure you do that if you're trying more advanced maneuvers. We have a yellow light telling us the battery is getting low. You'll have to say that again. <laughs> that was a no throttle toss, nice. <laughs> I knew it could do that. That was good. Did you just ease into the throttle with that after you tossed it? That was good. Under the leg, Nate, under the leg. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes. And now throttle. Nice, didn't throttle till right then. The it glides. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? Ready. So Nate said oh, there. <laughs> so Nate said there is a yellow light on the transmitter to indicate that the battery is getting low. There's Hands your free, yellow baby. light. 
This is a great little airplane. I think the inclusion of safe is awesome. Yes, I do too. For one S airplane, it's a lot of fun. And we might as well fly it till the battery gets low because we're getting fairly low now. We were having fun with those spins, so I'm taking it up and let's go. Wow, 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 wow. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> So we can have some fun with it, but yeah, there's super dihedral in those wings. That means that that wing is curved up, which is just pure auto level happiness. But then with the inclusion of safe, click that on, it'll just not flip upside down at all. We're always listening to the radio when we fly. <laughs> so there may be jumps, there may be pauses. You guys may actually hear radio chatter occasionally on our videos, but if there are little skips in the video, a lot of times that's why. Abby, let's just try for a nice smooth grass landing. Okay, let's see Off it. to the left over here, we've got a slight breeze to our back, so this will be the best way to come in. You always wanna take off and land with the nose into the wind. And you guys see that? We're slowing way down. Zero throttle there and pull up. Ah, it's perfect. Good job. <laughs> so, there may be some small confusion. When you're flying, you click the left stick and there are beeps, but that does nothing. I kind of wish they would have um, killed that beep there. When you click the right stick, watch this. Let's get the light there in the shadow. Okay, ready? Red blinking means safe is off. Blue blinking means safe is on. Uh, that lets you know when safe is on, your bank is limited. It's very beginner friendly. You can't get the plane upside down. You can't do those wild things I was doing, little spirals and stuff. When you turn safe off, it gives you the ability to bank sharper, pull up and down sharper, a little bit more aggressively. And it's a good uh, skill to have to be able to fly in and out of safe. It's, it's always nice to, to know how to do both. And if you're ever panicking, you can, if you're out of safe, you click that right stick and go back into safe and it'll auto level. You know, let's say you're diving down instead of hitting the ground like I did, you can click the right stick and it'll snap to auto level and save your plane. So Nate's flying on a bigger battery. Yeah, and the really cool thing is these are just held in the bottom of the airplane. It's already got some soft Velcro in there. And then you just put a little bit of Velcro on this side. This is actually a Spectrum battery. It's a higher C rating, which just means it can take more throttle punches and it also has a bigger milliamp size and i know i say this because there are probably a lot of beginners watching our video right now that just means you have a bigger fuel tank so it flew really well on that battery and i highly recommend it we'll have it linked in the description box below but it comes with a nice little usb charger and that's how i charged that battery i was flying on and it comes with this 150 milliamp battery nothing wrong with either of these but a bigger battery means longer flying and uh, this one was a 25C and that was a 50C. So we can throttle punch harder and longer and it not sag the voltage of the battery when you're flying. So if you want the upgraded batteries, this will be linked below too. Now, a lot of people are gonna be looking at this airplane as a great beginner, a great first airplane, if you're on a budget. And I think that's a really solid choice. I, I really do. If you're looking for a park flyer, front yard, backyard flyer, there's not a lot that are a whole lot better and forgiving than this. The safe technology, the size of the airplane, visibility, it just hits all those beginner trainer nails on the head. It'd make a great gift for yourself if you're wanting to learn to fly, but it'd also make a great gift for someone under the tree or just in general. Or if you're a pilot, this is great to have around if someone ever shows up to your airfield wanting to fly it's awesome to have things like this handy to get other people into the hobby we tip, love right? having things like this around that's a good tip so if you are getting this as a gift for someone else or for yourself and you're learning to fly i recommend you fly with ama for about the same price of this airplane you can insure yourself flying airplanes for an entire year which i think is amazing because if you're flying this at the park and you fly by and you be really hard to hurt or damage anyone or anything with this airplane, but it could happen. And if you did, that's where AMA Insurance will step in and help cover you in those incidents. So a great pair with this airplane is that insurance. Also, if you never use it, and we hope to never use that insurance, it does come with a nice magazine subscription, access to fly at airfields all over the country, entry to RC events, to be able to fly at RC events. There are a lot of perks that come with it, groups on Facebook, 
a lot of help. You can pick up the phone and call people and ask if you are, you know, flying the way you should. Or if you ever have any questions, they're there to help. So I highly recommend the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And that'll be linked below near the link to this airplane. It's super important, guys. These are probably the most important things that we can talk about in this video. One, we wanna say thanks to God for blessing us with today. We give him all the glory for not only giving us the opportunity to fly planes and share this experience with you guys, but just blessing us with this beautiful fall day and everything that life brings our way. We thank him. Also, very important to know that because this is linked in the description box below, when you buy it through that link, you support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. And you're doing yourself a huge favor because you earn points. With those points, you can cash them in for things like new batteries for your airplanes for free if you have enough points. So we highly recommend you click the link if you're going to buy this plane or any plane or RC anything on the website. We'll get credit for it. You're doing us a favor. We're doing you a favor by hooking you up with points and getting you right where you need to be. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because of you guys, we get to jump in front of the camera as often as we do. You keep us motivated, you keep fuel in the tank, you keep the camera gear rolling so that we can make these videos for the world to enjoy for absolutely free. If you're in the market, for budget or just beginner planes. I'd actually like to make a recommendation for a plane that I think is the next step up from this one. It might not look quite like this plane, but the functionality is insane. And it's just about double the price. We'll have a video of that plane popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there.